right, you guys, this guy's one of my favorite comics to watch. He headlines all over America and in Canada. You guys, you've probably seen him on the Johnny Carson show. Give it up for Adam Richman. <laughs> Sorry, just checking him for dynamite. You know, he's Middle Eastern, guys. You gotta check. Come on. Oh, bullshit. I wasn't the only person thinking that. Come on, guys. Keep it going for a mirror, everybody, will you? Come on, everybody. And this show. What a great audience. You guys having fun? You look a little scared. It's good to be here, man. I love LA. Do we love LA? Come on, people. We love it. Lighten up. Whatever. I fucking love it. I do. I love LA. There's a lot of tourists, man. I don't know how to the tourists. They always seem to stop me and ask me to take a picture of their camera. Guys, next time any stranger comes up to you and asks you to take a picture of their camera, here's what you guys should do. Have them pose for the shot. Then quickly turn around, take off, turn back, and snap that picture. <laughs> Pixels like, oh my God! <laughs> I can't believe! <laughs> now look around the room. Is everyone not laughing? That's the dude that's going to try that. Bam, that guy right there. <laughs> Good start for me. I see we got some silent laughers right in this corner over here. You guys are the silent laughers and people laugh like this. <laughs> Not a great comedy crowd, but an excellent dog whistle. Thank you. And thanks to the one clap in the back, I will give up an applause break. <laughs> so I got for this asshole, and then you did it to me. Yeah, all right. That laugh was like 10 minutes after. Oh, I finally get it. <laughs> we got beautiful women in California, guys. Applaud for the beautiful women. Excellent. Yes. Yes. Also, big shout out to the ugly ones. Come on. <laughs> What's with the tattoos, ladies? Can you slow down with the tattoos? Honestly. What's with this writing on the side of your bodies? What is this message of hope? What is this? I'll never get hurt again. So I just throw my spirit. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do this. Let my love be strong. They went back to her. Serenity. Guys, are my cooler. You ever see guys tattooed like pride, death, freedom, destruction? And there's all the NBA basketball players over their Bible And there's all the NBA basketball players on their Bible gospel on their minds. And then Moses bestowed upon Esau the pulpit of humanity. The God brings supreme being down upon the chosen people. That doesn't even make sense. And I took it the hole with soul because the fast don't knock. Slammed down two points, Clippers by 12. I don't want a tattoo, though. If I ever did it, six words above my heart that says, I am not an organ donor. <laughs> you can't laugh, then groan. Make up your fucking minds, OK? You can't laugh and decide halfway through that. So, <laughs> I enjoyed that joke and decide halfway through. I'm offended by that. <laughs> and there's the lips, the plastic surgery. Stop with the plastic surgery, OK, guys? A few boobs are OK, maybe a little butt. But what's with the lips? Who the fuck is that for? Other women? You look fucking retarded, honestly. And then guys are like, no, 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 no. Those are dick-sucking lips. Dick-sucking lips? Who gives a blowjob like this? No. If anything, you know, for a blowjob, you need a lot of hands, some mouth, maybe a good throat. So whenever I see a girl with a long neck, I'm like, yeah. Yeah, look at this. That's some dick sucking throat right there. Yeah. He's looking for my girl's got that. Look at this. Look at it. <laughs> and don't get mad at the word retarded. I apologize for that, guys. It's retarded. It's a great word. All right, retarded means you're once tarded, lost your tard, found it again, became retarded. <laughs> the weather makes us dumb in California. Weather makes us stupid. You know, the sun is relentless. It's like. Ah! shines on you when things are going well, mocks you on the days that things aren't going well. You know, you're just lying in bed at noon, the sun's like, what the fuck are you doing? Get out of bed! It's California outside! <laughs> you ladies are lucky when the summer hits. You guys get to wear nothing. Like, what are you wearing? What's your dress? Oh my God, just like a little napkin covering my right nipple and a string, one string. For guys, it's tough. We got like, like got a shirt covering a belt, covering pants. Covering, it's like a fucking thunderstorm down there, guys. Do not enter. Honestly, guys, ladies, do not give your guy a blowjob in the summertime. Just don't. 
It's disgusting. And she's like, Ugh, too late. Too... It was a really loud go. Some girl back there knows exactly what I'm talking about. But the sun makes us dumb. Everyone walks around LA like, Duh. you go down to Orange County, like, Duh. you go to San Diego, they're like, Duh. you go even further south than that, they don't even speak English. Oh, fuck off. That's a geography joke. You got offended. That's an actual fact. It's a different country, okay? Okay, Chico, look at that guy. Yeah. Orale, fucker. That's my home, which I escaped from and came to America. Call the ice, everybody. Ice. Call the ice. Oh, don't groan. I'm Canadian. I'm very worried about the fucking ice in you. The ice comes in. I'm jumping through this fucking wall. You guys are lucky, you guys get to leave after the show. I have to hang out with myself all the fucking time. <laughs> Is something on fire besides this guy? <laughs> California does make us dumb. People got, there's an article over Christmas time. This lady comes back from Cancun. It's a crazy story. The lady got bitten by a shark. <gasps> well, she was swimming with the sharks. <laughs> you know what, go fuck yourself, bitch, okay? <laughs> You honestly deserve to get bitten by a shark when you voluntarily go swimming with them. That's like me saying, oh my God, guys, you wouldn't believe this, guys, you wouldn't believe this. I got attacked by a bear. <laughs> yeah, can you believe? Yeah, I was disco dancing in a bear cave <laughs> and the grizzly came out of nowhere like, Arr! I mean, shocking. It was so weird, it was hibernation season. I just dipped myself in honey. I was dancing to the Bee Gees night fever and the bear came out unprovoked. I mean, I can't believe that. <laughs> then, guys, you wouldn't believe this. You wouldn't believe this, guys. Guys, I got attacked by, by some gangbangers. Yeah. I know. Can you believe that? Yeah. I was in South Central Los Angeles. I was wearing my Make America Great Again hat, <laughs> waving my Confederate flag, yeah. yelling in my bullhorn, White Lives Matter, too. <laughs> Next thing I know, I woke up hours later naked in my own piss. <laughs> Can you fucking believe that? <laughs> By the way, thank you for the Black Lives Matter thing. I'm glad they came up with that, honestly. If they didn't come up with that, I would not know the Black Lives Matter, honestly. Now I will stay on the straight and narrow, because before I just Grand Theft Auto with that shit, like, Arr! there's a black person that like, Arr! but now that I know that your lives matter, I will stay on the straight and narrow, okay? I will stay. You know, fuck off, white people. The black people are laughing, so shut up over there, right? Oh. I feel guilty. Oh, I got white privilege. Oh, I feel bad. I need my safe space. <laughs> I need a safe space here, free from words and thoughts and ideas that are different than my own. How about this? How about you all eat a dick with your safe space? All right, guys? Seriously, guys, it's comedy night. Comedy night, not take shit seriously evening. Thank you. And I think the black people laughing, it's very dark over there. I can't see a thing, so honestly. Uh, um, yeah. Oh, somebody was hurting that joke. Who else? I'm offended. There are no repercussions to being offended. Do you understand that? It's not like a stack of currency you could collect and ch cash in when oh, I'm this offended. Where the feminists at? Feminists? Yeah, go fuck yourself, idiots. Feminism. What the fuck? Is, what if I told you I was a masculinist? Yeah, I'm a masculine. How stupid does that sound? I'm a masculinist. Yeah. Feminism. Ladies, you are not our equals. You are far fucking superior. Yeah, I mean, anyone that could drop a human being through a slit this big, that's some man shit. That takes some balls. But all of a sudden there's these movements and movies about female empowerment, female empowerment. Excuse me, ladies, can somebody tell me when you lost your power? Because I'm from a family of 13 Jewish women. Uh, I've been fighting for my equality all my life. So somebody explain this to me. You're lacking in power, excuse me, you decide if we're having sex ever. That makes you the most powerful people in the world. 
Also, you get a divorce, you get the house and the kids, and you don't think you have power? I know no man that doesn't work. I know many women that haven't worked a day in their lives, and you don't think you have power? <laughs> also, a woman can say anything about a man, and he's in trouble, and you don't think you have power? <laughs> if you want to fight this battle, ladies, move to the Middle East, idiots. <laughs> and just so we're clear, I have five sisters. Five of them. Two mothers, aunts, cousins, a girlfriend, ex-girlfriends, female friends up the wazoo. Each one of these ladies is smart, intelligent, and powerful, and everyone has so many words. <laughs> Why do you think I became a comedian? So I could step on stage for an hour and not get interrupted by one of my fucking sisters. <laughs> That joke does not get me laid, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, truth is, I once had an eight, nine year drought of not getting pussy. Oh. Yeah, it was when I was born to when I was nine. Come on, man. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, oh, what? Who's he offending now? I like when you ladies laugh because your boobs kind of shake. It's nice. It's like a whole. <laughs> Hers too, right there, right there. That guy's, you, know, you know what I'm talking about, you know? <laughs> what, I like boobs. Am I the only guy? Where are you, fellas, fellas, fellas? Oh, I'm the only one guy. <laughs> hey, I like fucking tits, totally. <laughs> I like boobs. You think, uh, you think girls like balls as much as guys like boobs? <laughs> you were quick on that. She's like, mm, I do like balls. I... And look how happy he is. <laughs> These girls haven't said a word. They're like, mm, I do like balls, totally, I do. <laughs> but I agree with you, ladies. There's no way girls like balls as much as guys like boobs. Because you never hear a girl tell a story like, oh my God, the other night I saw the greatest pair of balls. <laughs> I just had to have them all night. <laughs> By the way, she doth protest too much right there. You cut to her an hour, I was like, I'm I got a special move that do my balls, guys. A special move, it's called the Roman Soldier Helmet. You guys know what that is? Now, you might not know it by name. This guy knows for sure what it is, all right? Now, you might not know it by name, but you know by practice, guys. If the Roman Soldier Helmet, guys, is when you take your testicles and rest each one on the sockets of her eyes. And then you put your shaft down her nose, kind of like a Roman Soldier Helmet. <laughs> I like that joke too, but I don't know fishing, you know what I mean? Because there's a big penis on my head, right? And I, I gotta be more realistic with you guys. I'm a Jewish guy, my penis is not that big. If I have to be honest about the joke, it's more like this. Spartan. Spartan. Come on, where's the Asian guys? Asian guys. Are not Sorry, the black guys never get the last part of that joke, right? So I gotta do the black version of that joke, which is this. <laughs> Alright, who's kidding who? It's more like this. Truth is, I haven't had sex in so long, I'm actually starting to have wet dreams about me masturbating. <laughs> black women are my favorite audience members, that's why you know, because black women laugh like they're stabbing each other, like, ah! 
It's like a violent experience. Ah! Oh, what happened to Keithy? Oh, he went to a comedy club. She's in critical condition. I like different voices and accents. My favorite is Scottish because I once had sex with a Scottish girl. Let me tell you something, guys. If you have not had sex with a Scottish girl, you should. With that thick Scottish accent, she's like, ah, oh, right there. <laughs> That's good. I like that. Right there. That's good. I like that right there. That's good. I like that. I mean, you won't come, but you'll be laughing the whole fucking time. Challenge me, they challenged me on my ability to handle better. I was like, you cannot handle this, you cannot. <laughs> By the way, only date black women. That's what I say, listen ladies, I've been indulging in a healthy portion of pussy ever since I've been tall enough to look one in the eye. So at some point you just figure out what you're doing down there, okay? But sometimes ladies use argument, well I have a pussy, so I know what feels better. Well guess what? I have a dick. That doesn't mean I give a better blowjob. In fact, if ever I had to give a blowjob, it'd be something like this. <laughs> what did I do? All right, you guys are great. My name is Adam Mitchell. Thank you so much. I got some CDs after the show. I'll be outside. You guys are great. Thank you.